Here's something neat that I found in the recycle bin recently. It's a 2008 Apple XServe. I'm not really familiar with any of the Intel XServe hardware. I've owned a G4 and a G5, as well as an original Apple RAID enclosure. But I've never had an Intel, and honestly, I almost didn't pick it up because I thought that it was a G5. This is pretty much exactly what the G5 looks like. But uh, I went around and pulled the little identifier thing out back, and it is indeed an Intel XServe. So, haven't done much with it yet. I opened up the case to see what's inside, and I, I know that it has drives in it. But other than that, it's really an unknown to me whether or not it even works at all. So let's go ahead, take the cover off, dig right in, and see what we can uh, what we can do. See if it works at all, see if it can run a Mac OS that's current. I have no idea. Let's go find out. I've already gone ahead and unscrewed these screws, and the cover is a little difficult to get off unless you put pressure in the right spot, but uh, I think after that first time I took it apart, it came apart pretty easily. I don't actually know if this has ever been taken apart before me, so that's kind of neat. And here we have the inside, so hopefully we're in focus, it looks like we are. First off, it's extremely clean. I don't see any dust whatsoever anywhere in here. It's, I mean, of course it was in a data center, I'm sure, at one point in its life, so it's not really a surprise that it's clean, but it's more clean than I would have expected out of a data center. It's currently got four sticks of RAM in there, and if the label is correct, looks like they are all one gig sticks of DDR2-667, probably. Uh, most likely ECC RAM, if I had to take a wild guess at that. Now what's kind of neat is that at the same time uh, that I found this in the recycle bin, I also found a bunch of RAM. And here is said RAM. This is DDR2-667, but these are all two gig sticks. So I really have no idea where these would have come out of. I'd assume something of the similar generation as this Xserve, but I don't think they were ever in this machine. And taking a look at all of them, which I've already done, they all match. They are all the same speed, they're all the same uh, brand, everything is the same, even the sticker. So, let's go ahead and install this in this Xserve. Okay, all eight sticks are installed, so we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 gigs of DDR2 ECC RAM. I think that this can support up to 32. I'm not sure why I think that I know that, I just think that is the case. But of course I don't have 8 sticks of 4 gig DDR2, I don't even have 8 sticks of 4 gig DDR3 on hand right now, so that won't be getting installed. Let's see what this thing has for storage. So first of all, we've got what used to be the original OS drive, the 80 gig SATA drive. All Xserves of this model year uh, shipped by default with an 80 gig SATA drive for running the operating system, and the other two drives were for storing files and anything else. This is a 750 gig SATA drive that I believe came with it, because not only does it have the Apple logo, but if we take a look on the back it says 750 gig SATA. So that probably came with it. And if I can get that back in there. The other drive is a one terabyte uh, Hitachi Desk Star. Also most likely came with it or was an Apple part because it says one terabyte SATA and it's got that Apple logo. I am not sure what I'd like to do as far as installing an operating system on here. I think, because it is 2020, still sounds weird saying that, that because we've got an empty drive caddy that we should put an SSD in it. There, I put an SSD in it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I think that makes sense. However, I'm a little bit concerned that SSD isn't going to work in this system. I've had some trouble because I've worked on an Xserve 
uh, Intel Xserve before, and I've worked on some older Mac Pros that SSDs, depending on the brand or, I don't know, just how the Mac is feeling on that day, might not work. So I'm a bit concerned about that. Uh, but I do have this, and I've got probably four different SSDs around. This is maybe a little overkill. This is a 500 gig SATA SSD. Um, I might throw a smaller one, like a 64 gig, something I can find. I was able to find a couple of these 64 gig SSDs that I bought pretty much just for this purpose. They were super cheap. And I think this is going to have the best chance at working, because it is a little bit of an older SSD. Uh, if it doesn't end up working, I might just try this 480 gig in there, and I've, I don't know, I've got a bunch of other ones. But, for now, we're going to go with the 64 gig, and that will just ever so nicely click into place. So everything's ready to go now, and I just wanted to mention this because uh, Apple loves to make people use adapters. This Xserve doesn't have VGA. I don't think most Macs have had VGA for ever. <laughs> I can't remember a time when they did, to be quite honest with you. Um, there's probably one that I'm missing. I just happen to have this VGA to mini VGA adapter, and if I didn't, we would not be continuing this video. So I'm very happy that I saved this. I don't know what I last used it on, but I'm sure it was some Apple device. And that plugs in right there. I'm sure there was more than enough room for a VGA connector if they had so chosen to do that, but no. And I think now it's time to go ahead and plug in the power. Nice little noise there. Seems like the power supply fan is going. Alright, power supply fan is running. Let's go ahead and whack the power button, see what it does. Yep, that definitely sounds like a server to me. Alright, we got a flashing question mark, which is totally expected, because the SSD I had uh, just put in there had Windows on it, and the uh, other two drives are most likely just for data. So I've got this that I prepared. This is a Mac OS 1015 Catalina installer. There's the focus on that. This used to be on my Sierra installer, but I never used it, so now it's Catalina. And I made it with DOSDude1's uh, bootable installer creator utility thing. So this should work on an unsupported Mac, such as the Xserve. This, by the way, is a 2 comma 1. Should just work, and there we go. It's at least booting. USB 2 sure is a lot slower than I remember it being. So we got the one terabyte drive showing up, and we don't have the 750, and we don't have the SSD. I wonder why that is. Let's see if we can do a do some terminal ing. Uh, disk util list. All right, one terabyte drive right there, disk 22, and disk 21 through. One are the virtual disk it created when it booted, and we got disk zero as the USB. Hmm. It's now about four and a half hours since the clip that you just saw. And damn it, I am tired and I am frustrated. Let me tell you why. I cannot get any SSD to work in this system, no matter what I try. First one I tried was a 64 gig, um, didn't work, so I tried the one that I'm holding right now. It's the same thing, just a different physical drive. Doesn't work, isn't detected. Tried this 480 gig SSD from Crucial, isn't detected. Tried out uh, this Dell SSD, because I just had it laying around, it's a 512 gig, not detected. Tried the same type of Dell SSD with a different firmware, 
Nope. Uh, tried a 120 gig Samsung 840 Evo. Nope. 500 gig 850 Evo. Nada. And lastly, this crucial 250 gig, uh, 256 gig SATA SSD. It's a bit of an older one, a bit of a thicker one, so I thought, eh, maybe, just maybe. And I was right. Except after I formatted the drive, I could no longer get it to show up in disk utility ever again, no matter how much I rebooted or removed and replugged in the drive. So damn it, I'm frustrated. Which means for SSDs, I'm giving up. And instead, why not just install to the 750 gig drive that's in there already? Because it's there, I'm not going to use it for anything else. Why not? It's not like this computer is going to be used for much of anything other than just playing around with. So I was I was thinking a little bit and then realized I was wrong, most likely, about why this doesn't work with SSDs. My only theory was, which then I realized it says SATA right here, so maybe it doesn't make sense, is that this is supposed to be for SAS drives, but between the sticker and the fact that it's got SATA connectors, not, you know, the single SAS connector that I would expect to see on a something that uses SAS, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to think. I have no idea. Maybe there's a firmware issue on the XServe that makes it not realize what an SSD is, I guess. I've used an SSD in a 2008 um, Mac Pro, and it works fine. Those accept SAS drives as well. So I don't know what the issue is, but you know what? At this point, this is just a fun project, and I want to keep it fun and not get more frustrated. So that means it's time to install Catalina on a hard drive. Okay, plugging in the XServe, popping in the USB, and pressing the power button. Sure is taking its freaking time, isn't it? There it goes. Thank goodness. Here we are back at the install prompt. Let's see what we get for disks. Now that we've got both drives showing up, I guess we should partition them and maybe install to one of them, I guess. I don't know. Let's do the let's do the 750. Why not? Uh, we'll name it Macintosh HD. Do extended journals, formatting, and there it goes. Thank goodness. It would get to that point with all the SSDs and then just either completely lock up or fail. So, very, very good to see that. Catalina, agree. Agree. I read that. Macintosh HD. Woo, there we go. All right. Finally installing to a drive. It has been at least five hours of working on this. Of course, as I say that, we've got no time remaining, so maybe it's not actually working. I'm going to grab a drink and some food and come back in a little bit. Maybe this will be done. Maybe it'll be at the same spot. I don't know. After what seems like waiting an absolute freaking eternity for this thing to finish, my goodness, USB 2 is slow, it's finally done. Catalina is installed, and it seems to be running quite well on this admittedly quite old Mac. This is uh, the latest release of Catalina, that's weird how that just populated. Uh, anyway, it's an XServe, doesn't show up the model because I don't have it connected to the internet right now. It's the dual 3 gigahertz quad core, so the 8 core uh, Xer from 2008. As I showed you before, we installed the 16 gigs of RAM, so that's 667 megahertz, fully buffered DDR2 DIMMs. The graphics isn't showing up properly right now. I believe that's because I need to run the post-install patches that are 
with this uh, installer for unsupported Macs. I'll do that at a later date. Uh, in fact, I don't know if I'll actually do it at all because I don't know if I'm going to use this machine, but I might. That is not the right size, but that is correct. Installed it to the 750 gig drive. Let's go down the middle there. There are all eight sticks of our two gigs of memory. And if we take a look at system report, might be able to see a little more uh, stuff that could be interesting. So an XSERF 2 comma 1, as I think I mentioned before. Each one of these CPUs has 12 megs of cache. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I think that just about does it. I've installed macOS on here. Um, it works. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I probably won't do very much with it at all. But the fact that it works is kind of neat. I might uh, clean it up a little bit and then post it for sale locally. I'm sure there's somebody out there who wants to mess around with an XServe. I can't be the only one. Oh wow, it's so quiet now. Wait. Alright guys, that about does it for this video. I might do another video on the XServe at some point in the future. I really I don't know what else to do with it because it just uses so much power. It's not something I'll run all the time. It's just kind of a neat thing to play around with. So if you get any ideas and you like the video, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and import all this footage, edit it, and post it up probably sometime this week. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Feel free to leave comments if you got any, and we'll see you in the next video.